Maayong bunta kaninyong tanan. Was that right? Today, we're leaving this side of the island and we're headed to Anda, which is like on the exact opposite side of the island. Never been there. Izai's never been there. It's relatively popular, I think. I don't really even know a ton about it. It looks gorgeous, so off back on the adventure. Okay guys, so we are here on Pang Lao and we have to go all the way over here to Anda. We're now headed to the bus station to go to Honda terminal. terminal. And then Happy Baby and Koya Alan offered to take us there because they're going there anyway. Koya <laughs> 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 Alan, say hi! <laughs> We arrived at our place. We are in Zenit Resto Bar. We're here because it was the cheapest place I could find, which was still like quite a bit actually out of our budget, but we really wanted to check out Onda. And I will say, I noticed two things coming into Onda. One, it did feel more peaceful than Pong Lao so far. I don't know, we haven't seen too much. But two, and easy I noticed this too, the signage here is amazing. Like on the side of the roads pointing to where to go, it's such big, clear signage. Like I'll yeah. put a video right here so you can see what it looks like. I haven't seen anything like that in the Philippines before. Even in America, I don't know a lot of places where like it points to each like, go this way to the cave pool and like, the next day. My own Buntag, guys, it's tomorrow. Yesterday, we arrived, had to find a place to do laundry, to rent a bike, we walked around the town a little bit. It wasn't super interesting for a vlog, so it just kind of skipped it. I'll show you guys a lot of that stuff today. Did have to buy new clothes <laughs> because we found a place to wash laundry, but it was gonna take like over 24 hours and I was completely out of clothes but anyway yeah let's do this we're gonna go get free breakfast right now and then it's off to start the adventure here in Onda today the plan is to go to some of the cave pools that are around here they're so gorgeous you've probably seen them on Instagram if nothing else people like laying on their back floating in them. Hopefully they're not gonna be too crazy packed. It's one of the main things people wanna do when they come here to Onda, so I'm assuming we're gonna have some competition there, but it still should be gorgeous and a lot of fun. So we're looking for this cave pool, Kateris Cave. It says to turn here and go, uh, where? Do we just walk? Okay, so if you're trying to come here, you're going down the highway, right? You're gonna see a sign that says the cave pool is in the forest. Don't turn into the forest, turn on the road. Keep coming and then it's gonna turn into like a dirt gravel path. I mean, it's not the worst ever. Keep your eyes open because this signage is right here. Very, I would have missed it. Ease I saw it. Uh, yeah, and it just goes into this little path right here. There's like a tree over here you can park your bike under. Maybe we got one other person here. There's another bike parked there. So we're just gonna head in and try to see what we find. We found this like cave that just goes down. This looks uh, crazy. There's no guides or anything here, no booth to have to pay at. That's where we came from, guys. The bike's up there. And then. Bagno Cave Pool. This is the one, I think, that online looks really cool. Like a drop into the ground. I don't know, we'll see when we get to it. Oh my God. According to the guy, to the yeah, to the guy at the parking, he said that Cabagno is actually closed for swimming right oh. now because it doesn't have like a permit, so we can only take pictures there. Boom, here it is. Guys, I'm so salty that this cave is closed right now. Like we could jump in there, but normally they have a pole so you can climb back out. It's not in there. 
because it's closed. So if we jumped in, we'd just be stuck. Oh my God, this is the one that I've been looking for all day. This is the one I saw online. I was hoping the other two caves were it. They weren't. And now we can't go in. All right, we're done here since there's really nothing else we can do. On this path though, there's another cave pool, Tibao Cave. Hopefully it's even half as beautiful as this one. Meh! Oh, oh. God dang. Does that not hurt? The path to this cave is legit out here. We got goats feeding and everything. They're so cute though, the little baby goats. Look at their little horns. They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. Mm. Guys, I never touched a goat before. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> hey, hey buddy. His name's David. His name's Daniel. How David about the Daniel. mommy? The mom? Danica. Danica. <laughs> Her name's Danica. Danica, David, and Daniel. <laughs> Move! Guys, this place is so beautiful. It's like really just as beautiful as the first one that you can't get in. Yeah, it's just, it's just so nice because it's only us here. So hopefully whenever you come, it'll just be you. Since we parked our scooter like, I don't know, a while ago when we got here, we haven't seen a single other person, foreign or local, coming back here. I don't know, it's really cool just being back here alone, kind of in the woods, finding the, the pools. It feels very authentic. Whoa, the return of the mango shake. Dink it and sink it. Headed back out. Beach time. So we were riding around trying to pick which beach to go to and we decided, you know what, Google works. We'll just Google what the best beach in Onda is. And it said Kinale, which is where we're walking now. It's actually the beach right by where we rented our bike and where we've walked by like two or three times already and never went in. But it says online it's three kilometers long. So I guess it's more than just this little section we're seeing right here. Nice. You will notice it is low tide currently. That's why it looks how it looks. But that also means we can walk out into it. So <laughs> you all right? I wonder where the corals are. Out there? There are so many starfish on this beach. I've never seen so many starfish in one spot. Guys, what is this thing? Pillar. It looks like, I'm not saying it is. Oh my god, I hope you can see that well on the camera. I feel like that's the kind of thing that like attaches onto you and sucks out your brain. No. 
See, I'm telling you that thing sucks out brains. I'm telling you, dude. I've seen this movie. Guys, can you imagine stepping on that thing? into the government to see if they'll change this to Starfish Beach. It honestly makes a lot more sense. Guys, my case for the renaming of this beach is growing. Look at all these freaking starfish. Jesus, can you see them all? Can you see them all? Holy crap. As I was saying that, she's never seen this many starfish either all at once. Look at the tiny there. There's another one. Guys, I've been counting and we're up to a million starfish. We just hit a million. So we've just walked a little bit down from the main part of the beach and it's just as nice and beautiful out here, but there's like almost nobody here. This is gorgeous. We think that we're past where all the hotels and resorts are. Wow, so my advice when you come to Anda and you come to this beach, just walk down a little ways and have it all to yourself. Nobody's screaming and loud karaoke. No hate on the karaoke, it's super fun, I'm just saying. The beach is a little more uh, relaxing without it. <laughs> oh my this. god, look guys, that. look at that. Look oh my that. god, what is that? What is that? Is it a sea slug? I don't know. What is that thing? Whoa, dude. <laughs> There's so many urchins! Guys, what is the blue inside the urchin? And the like little eye thing on it? Yeah, this one is just like blowing. What is that? Oh, what Whoa. is happening? Like this starfish is with the sea urchin. Look at the blue on that urchin. I never knew sea urchins were so gorgeous up close. So I don't know what that is. What is on those sea urchins? Tell me. Let me know. It's so freaky. Guys, look at this. Is that a sea urchin? Yeah, it's got the same eye on it. It's an urchin. It looks so different. Sea urchins are way cool, and there's another freaking starfish. Izai also can't seem to get over how many starfish there are here. Do you recommend coming to this beach at low tide? Yes. It's very cool. It is cool. Look guys, we found Patrick from Spongebob. <laughs> so fat. He's the fattest starfish I've ever seen. Oh my god. You recommend Onda? I do. You recommend this beach? Mm-hmm. Come to Onda. <laughs> no other thoughts. That's all you need to know. Come to Onda. Perfect. We found a path back. I mean, I assume it connects to the main road. I don't know where else it would go. It's probably going to be a little bit of a walk to get back to our hotel. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. We got all good the time Good exercise. In the world. Yeah, good exercise. <laughs> I'm trying to flatten up this bill bill. <laughs> I get those abs. So we're walking along the path we found from the beach and right here we ended up, this is where we parked our bike when we went to the cave pools. So it's all connected. See everything, a few videos ago I said that everything in Bahol is a lot further away than it looks. In Onda everything is much closer than it looks. Guys, I don't know if I ever expressed how cheap bread is in the Philippines before. We bought all these breads right here for 18 pesos, which is about maybe... 35 cents US? 